How to create appointment booking website with WordPress. Hey guys, this is Shan from ReviewShan.com and welcome to my tutorial on how you can create appointment booking websites with WordPress that can accept payment. You can manage the appointments through the same app and you can schedule for any appointments. You can manage those appointments. That is, you can cancel it. You can reschedule it. You can add different parameters to it. So all in all, it will be a end-to-end -end appointment booking solution for any WordPress website. Why appointment booking is required? It is required for many professionals like be it a dentist, a lawyer, it can be a freelancer, it can be an agency, it can be a psychiatrist, it can be a cello, a gym, a spa, wherever you go appointment booking is very much necessary. It actually helps you to know beforehand what exactly you have and it also helps you to manage the workloads and it helps you to actually collect a lot of money because what happens is that when you make daily appointment or something like that, first of all, you don't get the details of the appointee, right? Secondly, you don't have the option of taking advanced bookings, right? Like if, say you want the people to pay 50% to book an appointment. There is no opportunity for that on phone calls, right? So you need this kind of an automated system that can actually help you to get these appointments and get paid and manage everything seamlessly. So with that being said, by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create this kind of site like the one you are seeing over here where people can just go and click on book appointment and that takes them through the service that they want to book. So for example, if they want to book this one, then you can see the agents, those are associated with the service comes up. So you can go ahead and choose any of them. And then you need to choose the timing for your appointment, right? So uh, as you can see here, Thursday is a holiday that I have actually scheduled. You can set that up according to yourself. So you can book at any other day, right? Depending on the availability. So if I try to book for tomorrow, if I click on tomorrow's date, then you can see I'm going to get the appointment slots as well. So I can just go ahead and choose any slot. And now you can see there is the summary of my appointment coming up over here. So if I now click on next step, it actually asks for my information, which is very good way to actually gather the information. So let me put it up. So here you can see I have entered all the information. And now if I click on next step, then it actually gives me all the summary, right? So once I get all this summary, I can just click on submit and boom, there it asks me for the payment. So I need to actually pay to book. Now there is a criteria for this. You can set this on or off. That's up to you. So there are many services that actually needs this kind of appointment booking with prior monetization so that they exactly know that those people will turn up. Even if they don't, your business doesn't get affected. So that's a great way to have your bookings actually. With that being said, let me quickly complete this payment. So with that being said, as you can see, I'm using Razor Pay over here. You can use any payment gateway that you wish to. I'll show you. Don't worry. And once I make this payment, my appointment will be confirmed. So I'm back and I have connected my phone to it so that you can see the process. So let me click on show QR and now on my phone, I will just scan this QR. Now remember, you won't be able to see it anymore because it will get black because uh, it would hide those information. But let me complete this. So boom, there you go. There is the completion, right? And as you can see, I've got the message that it has been deducted and you can see here the appointment has been confirmed, right? And you can see the agent that I have chose, the service that I have chose, my phone number, my email ID, what method I choose for checkout. And here also I can create my account so that I can manage my appointments. If I'm a regular customer to this, I would prefer to create an account, right? So that's how it works. And uh, it's very easy to be done, right? I'll set it up right in front of your eyes within the next 15 to 20 minutes. So be with me and uh, with that being said let's dive in so to start off this tutorial i will go through a step-by-step -step process where i will explain you each and everything so the first step to start this is actually having a website right and to have a website you must have a hosting and a domain now if you already have it then fine stick on with me if you don't have it then i would recommend you to get the fastest and the most reliable hosting with free ssl free cdn and a ton of free plugins and themes from me right if you want that you'd get a link down in the description for bluehost which is most recommended by wordpress itself 
and uh, you can just buy that hosting send us a receipt over our email id which would be flashing on the screen right now or i'll leave it in the description as well just send the purchase receipt to us what we'll do is that we'll send you a ton of plugins and a ton of themes which would actually allow you to do anything and everything with wordpress it consists of the plugins that i'll use in this tutorial i have you covered with a sales funnel builder plugin that can actually build you professional sales funnel i have a tutorial on that as well you'll get a auto blogging plugin that will actually help you to create auto blogging websites for yourself you have an amazon affiliate plugin then i'm going to help you with the membership site creation plugin now these are just to name a few there are a ton of plugins and themes that you are going to get and all of them remember are premium themes and plugins that you are going to get as a bonus for picking up bluehost via my link with that being said the link below is my affiliate link so i might receive a little commission when you actually make a purchase but that is not going to affect the price that you need to pay you would be paying that price anyways but you are going to get a lot of freebies if you buy it through us so it's a win-win for both of us and i really hope that you take the action and get bluehost for yourself with that being said, uh, I have a tutorial down in the description where I show you how you can install uh, WordPress into a brand new hosting along with theme, right? So if you don't have any experience with WordPress, if you don't know how to get started, where to get started, don't worry, you are covered right here. I'll leave a link in the description from where you can install WordPress in your brand new hosting and domain and you can get started, right? So once you have installed WordPress, it would look something like this, right? So I really hope that you have completed step one, which was actually getting started with WordPress and installing WordPress on your brand new site. Uh, with that being said, it takes us to the second step, which is installing the theme. Now for themes, what we have done is that you just need to go over to this appearance, go over to themes, just click over here and go and find something called Astra. Just type in Astra over here and you can see Astra comes up, right? Now in your case, there'll be an install button here, but since I have already installed it, it comes as customized, but don't worry, I've done nothing with it. I have just installed it. So once you install it, you will get the same thing, right? Now, once you have installed Astra and activated it, all that you need to do is come over here under appearance go to starter templates just follow me over here okay let me just annotate this so once you have installed astra you just need to come over here on the appearance then go over to this point that is starter templates and click on this starter templates and in here you can see there are a ton of template depending on exactly for whom you are doing it say for example you are doing it for yourself you might be an agency so you can just search for agency and you can find there are a ton of themes that are for agency so you can just choose any one of them say for example you are doing this for maybe beauty salon so just go for beauty and here you can see all of these are coming up so these premium ones won't be available generally but if you are buying through us it would be available right so that's a great thing to have with that being said all of these are at your disposal you can choose any of them like this one is the one that i have chosen right you can see this over here this is a free theme to use and i have used this one only right so you get the point over here right now once this is done you just need to go back so now that your theme is also set up it brings us to the third point which is actually customizing your content now for this we will go over here and click on this visit site and open it on a new tab and it will open up just like this now in here you can actually edit anything and everything like what are written over here you can edit you can edit all these menus you can edit these logos everything is editable how to do that i have a tutorial on that i'll leave a link in the description don't worry you won't be stuck anywhere however let me show you how easy it is so to to do some basic editing you can just click on edit with elementor and this as you can see opens up the page as you saw over here now you can go ahead and click on any of this stuff say for example for gentleman on the go if you want to change anything say for example i want to delete this i want to just keep it gentleman on the go i can do that right i can have a background color change i can change the fonts i can change the sizes i can do anything and everything with it so that's up to me I can do whatever I wish to with this, right? So that's how this works. You can also go ahead and add different elements to your page, right? You can add text, you can add headings, you can add buttons, videos, photos, anything and everything that you wish to. So that's how easy it is. Now in the same way, you need to edit every pages like there are the about page in where you need to give some information about yourself, right? About your company maybe. 
Then you have the team section over here where you can change the teammates and all those stuffs. Then you have the gallery where you can go ahead and upload the pictures and the videos. Maybe you can change the contact pages. You can even change the menus and this logo over here. Now you can't do it on page level because it's on the website level and you need to do it on the global setting. So there's a detailed tutorial on this. I really don't want to waste your or mine time in going through all this stuff over here because these are more generally related to WordPress. So if you don't know how to do that, I would suggest you take a look at my video after completing this one, right? So once we have actually customized this with our own information, all that we need to do is exit. So let's exit to the dashboard. And I'm not saving it because I had not made any meaningful changes. So as you see, it brings us back to the dashboard. And in here, we can just click here. And that brings us back to the dashboard. With that being said, that's the end of step number three, which is customizing your site. Now you'll go over to the step number four, which is actually installing the plugin that is required for appointment setting. Now here we will use a plugin, which is called late point. Let me mark it out. So here you can see this is called late point now. This is a paid plugin and would cost you around $79 in Code Canyon Marketplace, right? So if you wish to buy it, you are free to do that. You can just go over to Code Canyon and buy it for yourself. Or if you buy Bluehost for around 50 bucks, then you are going to get it for free. So that's a great deal to have. With that being said, um, deals are apart. Let's focus on the tutorial. So in here, this is the plugin that you need to install, right? I have installed this. So what it does and how to set up this plugin. Now from here starts the main part of our tutorial, like how to set up late points so that you can perform any and every function. So this brings us to the fifth step that is configuring the late point plugin. So for that, we will just click on late point. So let's open it on a new tab. And as you can see, it's opening up. So once it opens up like this, you can see it's a self-contained piece of plugin, right? It does all the stuff for you. Now, if you are acquainted with this kind of booking software, you must have seen this kind of interface, right? So when you go to a salon, when you go to a dentist, when you go to a clinic, you find all these kind of screens, right? Where people just click on new appointment and you come over to the counter and give your information and they book an appointment for you, right? So it's the same thing. If they open this uh, late point plugin, then they can actually manage the appointment from the back end as well. That means it can take online as well as offline bookings. That's a great part to have, right? So I guess you understand this fact. With that being said, to start up, once you have installed this late point plugin, all that you need to do is go over to your services and just click on services. So in here, as you can see, I have already created three services like hair treatment, beard setting and hair cutting. So if you want to add another service, say, for example, a body massage or something like that, just click on add service, give the service a name, say body massage. Then in here, you can give it a short description like what this service is all about. I'm not going to do that. You can also add a category. Say, for example, you are doing it for a doctor's clinic and that clinic has multiple doctors, right? And there are multiple type of activities that goes on. Say, for example, there are some screening activities like test and all. There are appointment for consultation that is OPD consultation. Then there might be some inpatient or whatever it can be. You can add those categories so that you can actually segregate the bookings, right? So if that is needed, you can do that as well. Then in here, you can name this service as active or inactive. Now that depends upon, now this is a great job to have because certain people would have some services which might be turned off for a particular period. Maybe the agent is missing or maybe something has happened to the equipment or there may, might be any other po possible causes for that. But there is an option in which you can activate them or disable them as well, right? Then you can actually change the background color. You can have the visibility. You can also add the media, right? What the service is about. If, if you have a descriptive image, you can give it over here. So here you can see, uh, I'm not getting an exact one, but uh, you can always go over to Pixels or Pixabay and find a related image, right? So for this example, maybe I am going to choose this one just for an example and click on use this media. And then in here, you need to set up the service. Like what is the service duration? It can be anything and everything. That's up to you, right? You need to set this up in terms of minutes. Then you need to give an amount. See the amount be 29. 
and in here you can have a deposit amount that means the minimum booking amount now if you want to take the entire money you just keep it as the entire money if you want to take a part of the money you can do that as well that's up to you right and then in here you can have a display price it can have a minimum and maximum price as well in case of varied services like if you go with with body massage there is a combo and something like that you can actually set this up over here and in here you need to actually add the buffer minutes for those services right so that's how it works and then you have to have the agents now since your installation would be a new one there won't be any agents created so we will create the agent however i have already created some agents over here so so in here you can actually assign the services to an agent right maybe the body massage guy is only joe roger the rest of them don't go for body massage so i will just assign joe roger to it right so that's how it works then you can also go ahead and have the service schedule that is if you want a custom schedule that means uh, body massage is not available at every hour your shop is open but it is available at a certain day or a certain time maybe so i can keep it on only monday maybe so i can keep it on only monday maybe at a specified time maybe from 8 am to maybe maybe from 8 am to 9 am that is only one slot at one day just for an example right so with that being said, once this is done, all that you need to do is click on add service and your service would be added. So now you can see it has come up over here and you can see the body massage has only one agent and its duration is 60 minutes. It will be charged 29 rupees and buffer is zero zero. So it's just the way that you set up things, right? So once your service is set up, now you need to set up the agents that is a service provider now the agents can be anyone and everyone if you are running a doctor's clinic the agents are the doctors right if you are running a beauty salon then the agents are the people who perform those arts right so it's uh, it's kind of employees that you have or the people who are going to give the services right so once you want to add a new agent you just click on add agent and in here you can set the avatar now that will be our agent specific one so let us select this one and in here you need to give him a name say joe say butler right just for an example then you can also have a display name if they have a nickname or something like that then you can add their email addresses and their phone numbers which are not absolutely necessary but i suggest you do then you can have the status like active or inactive depending on whether they are joining or they are not really available for service or that sort of stuff right then in here you can have the extra information like agent title bio text all of these you can give you can have highlights right like the number of years of experience or the number of clients served or the ratings or whatever you wish to and in here you can also tick off the services that they would provide right so maybe he is a specialist on haircut so i will remove all the others and i will keep him on haircut now there is no restriction they can be doing everything as well that's up to you then again on here you can set custom schedule as well or generally they will have the same schedule as your shop has right now once done just click on add agent and as you can see the agent has been added over here and you can see that they are available every day except thursday and since today is thursday i'm recording this so you can see today they are off duty so with that being said uh, that's how you can add your services and your agents now if you have multiple locations then you just need to go over to the location this is for franchise business then you can just go ahead and click on install locations add-on and it will allow you to add different locations now for this you will need a add-on plugin i'll provide you all of them don't worry you just need to go ahead and install the plugin for yourself right now since i'm not doing this for a franchise based business i'm not showing this in this tutorial but don't worry it's very easy to do now with that being said in here you can find all the different add-ons that are there now i am going to deliver all of this in a zip so don't worry in here you can see i have installed a plugin add-on this is the one that i've installed the razor pay one right now if you want to take payment via stripe you can just install this if you want to take it via people or pay stack anything it has integration with tons of uh, different things like you can have google calendar so that whenever somebody makes a booking they can actually get it on their google calendar as well then in here you have group bookings facility as well in here this is the location one that i was talking about right then you can have coupons as well you can have chats as well you can have custom fields as well you can have anything and everything that you want if you want to send sms's you can have twilio as well so that's how cool things are even if you want to have zoom meetings this is going to be important if you are a service provider like maybe a tax consultant um, psychiatrist or something like that 
then you want this to be installed, right? So that was how to set this up. Now, once this is done, we will go over to the next step, which is actually playing with the settings. Now, this is going to be a very important part. Don't take this lightly. Follow me here, right? Because this is going to be a very, very important part. And this will actually decide how the appointments actually are managed. So in here, you can see by default, the appointments would be approved. If you want a manual approval, you can set it as pending approval. And then from the back end, you need to actually approve the appointments. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes, but this is how it happens, right? Then there's the system time date format that you want. Then there is the interval between the slots. As you saw, we had a 15 minute interval, like 8.15, 8.30, 8.45 and so on. If you increase this, say 60, then there would be 8, 9, 10 and so on, right? Then in here, you can tick this on to actually show the appointment end time. If you don't want to do that, you can just leave this blank. The next one that you have is restriction. This is going to be important for especially doctors. Maybe a doctor doesn't have a date in two months. They have told you that my appointment should be booked at least two months prior, right? So in here, you can actually end, add this like one month. Here you can see all these are given here. You can just copy this syntax and paste it over here and that's it. Then you can have the latest possible booking. After that, you are not going to take a booking, right? Then you can have the maximum number of future bookings per customer. You can save that as well. Then in here, you need to set up the currency. Now for me, it's Indian rupees. If you want to set it up on GBP, USD, anything that you wish to, you can do that. Then in here, you need to provide your phone number. This is going to be your phone number that comes up on the appointment screen so that they can take a note of it. Then in here, you can change the appearance settings if you like to. Here in other pages that your customer would get if they decide to create an account with you, right? Then in here, you can have different agent settings, right? Say, for example, if you are having a multiple outlet business, then you can restrict an agent to be present in one location at one time. If you turn this on, that means no agent can be available at both the locations at the same time slot, right? So you can do that kind of micro level management with this plugin. That's why I love this plugin. Then in here, you can find one agent can perform different services simultaneously. Like, uh, for example, haircut and body massage can't be done simultaneously, right? So I have turned this off. In case if you have any such kind of services which can be done parallelly, then you can turn this on. That's up to you. Then in here, you can allow the customer to cancel their booking if you want to. And if at all you allow it, then you can set the restriction like at least this much time before. Like in flights, you have it, right? So uh, this is a great thing to have. Then you can have the authentication if you want to. You can also enable social logins. So that's a great part to have. Now, once this is done, you can just click on save settings. And then you need to go up over here. And on this tab, you need to set up all of this. So on the schedule one, you need to schedule your store timing. That is your clinics timing or whatever you are running, right? The services, the availability timing of that. You need to update it over here. Then on the steps, then you can select location from here since we are having only one location, so it's not required. Then you can select the services, you can select the agent, you can select the date and time, you can have the payment method. Now, if I click on here, you can see I have actually verified it with Razorpay. So you can actually go ahead and do all of this stuff for yourself as well. Then on the booking process, you can show the agent pop up. You can uh, have different other settings as well. You can just play through these settings. And on the left hand side, this is the one that you need to customize, right? Right? You need to put in your phone number or email ID, whatever you wish to, so that if people have their questions, they can call you or email you and reach out to you, right? Then in here, you can also have the conversion tracking pixels if you want to. With that being said, once this is done, you just need to go over to the next step, which is actually handling your payments. And in here, you need to connect it to your payment gateway. Now, as you can see, I have already connected my payment gateway with this plugin. Then the rest of the two, you don't require it generally if you are not a coder, right? So with that being said, that was more or less about this stuff. Now, once you have all of this set up, you need to again go over to the general. And from here, you just need to scroll down and find the short code of the button. So once you get this, just make sure that you copy this and keep it handy with you. We are going to use it in a little while. So with that being said, that is all the things that you need to do on the settings part. Now comes the last part, 
but an important one which is a notification so in here you can see i have enabled email notification so if you want to enable this just tick on this one and once done it will actually send out emails whenever there is a new appointment right so you can also manage the email template over here that is how the emails are going to be sent so here if we scroll down here you can see enable appointment confirmation email to the customer and this is the exact email that they are going to receive right so we will actually check whether we have received the email or not we'll do that verification as well now once this is set up you are done with all the setup now that brings us to the next point that we have that is actually managing appointment now for managing appointment you just need to go over to this appointments and click on all appointments and in here you can find all the different appointments that are scheduled what is the customer name their email id what services they have booked uh, whether those are approved or not if you want to deny any of them just click on here go over here and set this as cancelled or payment pending or whatever you wish to so there is enough room for you to actually manage everything right from the back end as well Again, if you want to just download everything, you can download the CSV as well. And uh, that's it. I, I don't think really I've missed out anything. I, that's all the basic stuff I have covered so that you can actually implement this as a service. Now, since all of the things are done, now the last step that we need to perform is actually putting in the short code within your page. So for that, we'll go back to the Elementor. And in here, we will actually click on visit site. And then in here, we'll click on edit page. And in here, all that we need to do is find a place where we want to put in the short code. For example, I have put it in over here. So to put the short code, you just need to search for a widget called HTML. Just bring it over here. Say, for example, now I want to give it over here. So just keep it over here and then paste the code, short code that we had copied. So just paste it over here like this and then just click on update. So now you'll exit to the dashboard. And if we click on visit site, then you can see that this button has come up over here as well. So now we have two buttons, right? One we had placed in previously and this one we have placed in right now. So just click on book appointment. And in here you can see this is the service that we had created body massage. So that's available. So click on that. Then you can see only one agent is available for this as we have set it up. So we can click on that. And then by default, we had placed it on Monday at a particular time slot. So you can see all the other dates are blurred out. So you can select only Monday. And then you can select only one slot. So that's how this works. So you can just click on that and click on next step. So as you saw, everything works seamlessly, right? So that's quite cool. Now, if we go ahead and click on next step, it will actually ask us for the payment. So just click on submit and you can see it's asking us for a payment of 29 rupees. So that's how it works. Now, let me go over to my email and let me show you if we have got an email or not. So as you can see here, I've got a confirmation email over here. And as you can see, hi, Chandra, your hair treatment with Samuel M is approved. Appointment details are here. So you can find all of this stuff. And this is quite extraordinary, right? Just everything was so seamless. I really hope that you have been able to follow me step by step over here. If not, please watch this again. And I'm sure you would be able to create an appointment booking website with WordPress for yourself or for your clients within 20 minutes. Now, with that being said, I actually make a lot of efforts so that I can create videos just like this, just for you. If you really appreciate that, then please help me with a like and also share this with your friends so that I get the maximum reach. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to this channel because in this channel, I do have regular videos on how you can make money online and different tips and tricks and technical knowledge on how you can build your business with yourself and WordPress and other free tools. With that being said, don't forget there is a deal going on. If you actually pick up Bluehost via my link in the description, you are going to get a ton of themes, plugins and my tutorials on that. Not only that, I'm always available to actually help you out if you are stuck anywhere. Just email me and I'll be able to help you. With that being said, it brings me to an end of this tutorial and I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, just let me know if you want me to create anything else on the comment section so that I can actually create that for you so that you are benefited from that. And also let me know how much you are liking this content so that I get more enthusiastic about creating videos just like this. With that being said, it's your good friend Shan bidding goodbye from you. We'll, we'll meet again somewhere over the internet. Until then, please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to make money online. Signing off is Shan from Review Shan. Take care. Bye-bye.